Good afternoon and thank you for joining us here at Transfiguration of the Lord Parish in North Attleboro as we gather to celebrate two Mass Tuesday, the 20th week in Ordinary Time. I sing the mighty
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the friendship of their spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, with faith and confidence in the power of God's mercy, let us acknowledge our sins and embrace his mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord, because you are haughty of heart, you say a God am I, and occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea, and yet you are a man and not a God, however you may think yourself like a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations, They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit there to die, a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god, handed over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is is I I who deal deal death death and and give give life. life. I would have said I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast. It is I I who deal deal death death and and give life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it. For they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is is I I who who deal deal death death and and give give life. How could one man rout a thousand or two men put ten thousand to flight unless it it was because their rocks sold them and the Lord delivered them up? It is is I I who who deal deal death death and and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I I who deal deal death and and give life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel 
to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, you yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think that Father Jack can attest to this, that seminaries do a really good job, for the most part, in helping to form a priest in terms of the overall academics, the theology, the pastoral theology, um, canon law, very important. One of the things that seminaries don't do so well, and I know that you're the assistant director of vocation, is they really don't tell you exactly what parish life is really all about. Did you know that added to my list, and I'm sure to your list of items to do, is we, as priests, are financial planners. You didn't know that, did you? Well, I didn't know it, and I really didn't think about it until today. I was out for a lovely walk on this beautiful afternoon, and I was pondering the gospel. And Jesus is talking about wealth management, if you will. He's saying to his disciples that someone who's rich will have, a great, will have great difficulty getting into heaven. I've been stuck on that. Because when we think of riches, when we think of wealth, we think of the amount of zeros that we have in our bank account after the first number. We think about the possessions that we have, the goods that we've amassed. I want to challenge Jesus, if you allow me to, just for a second. Is it really difficult for someone who is rich to enter into God's kingdom? Depends how you define wealth. Depends how you define riches. If one is rich in kindness and in mercy and in generosity and in forgiveness, that person's going to, in their wealth, have an easy time getting into heaven. How about for someone who is poor? This, this, is, this is my difficulty with this particular gospel. Someone who is poor. When we just think of finances, we can't leave it at that. Someone who is poor in charity. Someone who is poor when it comes to terms of, of forgiving someone. When it comes to someone who is poor in being generous or kind or accepting or loving, you keep going. That person's going to have a difficult time getting into God's kingdom. Wealth management and financial planning. That's the business that we're really in. Not in terms of this, but in terms of eternal life. And so today, I think it's important for all of us to assess whether we are rich or poor. Not in terms of overall financial matters, but in terms of spiritual ones. I want to be rich in mercy. I want to be rich in kindness. I want to be rich in generosity. I want to be rich when it comes to forgiving. I can't always say that I am. It's what I strive to be. It's who I strive to be because that's who I believe the Lord is calling me and all of his disciples to. And so, ask yourself today, are you rich or poor?
Together we lift up our hearts and pray to God, who is always present with us. For Francis, our Pope, may God give him strength that he sh as he shares Christ's message with the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the salvation of the world, may the love of God through the witness of the church touch every heart on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have suffered trials of any kind because of the global pandemic, may the Lord look graciously upon their needs and grant them relief and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit continue to inspire us in charity and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died or who will die today, may they be welcomed into the light of God's kingdom. We pray in a particular way today for David Corvese. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs we hold in our own hearts, we pause in silence and pray. Loving and merciful God, we put our trust in you and ask that you hear our prayer and grant us what we need according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And now with humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all of your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edgar our Bishop, and all the bishops, priests and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory glory are yours yours now now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant Grant us us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ be saved for different life. Amen. With the Lord there is mercy, in him is plentiful redemption. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, 
that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just a word of thanks to everyone who joined us for our fifth fireside chat last night. We got a lot of good feedback uh, both last night and today. Uh, thank you so very much. Anything that you need to say? No? All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the beautiful day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.